and a dream package and this is a dream coming true so everybody at my home is very much happy that is what i learned there are many optimization techniques which i learned from programming patchala's uh, course which i got but mm-hmm. i uh, did a gist of computer science fundamentals the base the important topics from the dsa and also that is something which helped me like i had a person like bharat bhaiya whom i used to just message and ask my problems and he used to resolve it at once also there used to be live sessions where in which you know uh, yeah. we used to interact and we used to like solve problems together we used to ask yeah. our doubts that Hi everyone welcome back to another episode of success stories with programming patchala my name is akanksha and today we have abhishek with us so abhishek has recently gotten placed with motor as their sde and she has landed a package which once can only dream of so don't forget to watch till the end of this video to know all about her interview experience with motor as well as her preparations with renaissance and give it a thumbs up in case you like it You can also visit the link in our description section to check out our website and take a free trial for yourself today and let's get into it. Hi Abhishek, how have you been? Hi Akansha, I'm good. How about you? Great, I'm also great. Okay. Can you Abhishek. introduce yourself for everyone here? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, I'm Abhishek Agrawal and I've done my BTech computer science from lovely professional university. and i've done an internship at fico followed by an internship at vmware when i got a full time at vmware and now i'm i got a full time offer at motorc that's nice abhishek and you have just got on your graduation completed or you're still in the fourth year uh yeah so this before two months my graduation got completed that's nice and you are already you have already landed a great offer and that's amazing how's everyone's feeling how's everyone feeling in the home and everything how's the reaction Of course, everybody is very much happy. Um, actually, when I got uh, my first internship, that was the time when actually I came into the corporate, and uh, everybody was very happy at that time. But landing this offer was my dream from the very beginning. So I used to aspire my uh, like aspire my seniors who used to crack such packages, and you know I, I like there was a girl who cracked a very big package from my college, and I used to think like uh, when it will be my turn, so I'll also you know like land a dream package, and this is a dream coming true. So everybody. at my home is very much happy completely i i completely agree with you this is a dream come true and we are so proud of you so abhishek coming to your journey of uh, the interview process at motor so how was the interview process from receiving the very first call to receiving your offer letter how has the journey been um yeah so the journey was actually very exciting i would say because uh, i haven't applied for the role for which i actually got the offer i applied for a different role initially and mm-hmm. i got my interviews done but Uh, eventually i landed up a internship and i had to do a internship for 2 months followed by a full time offer mm-hmm. and it was based on the performance so it was uh, a bit of risk like i had a full t- a good full time offer at vmware as well which was offering me quite good enough mm-hmm. and i had to come to a startup which is more talk and mm-hmm. that to an internship so that was a bit of risk so that is the reason when i told that this won't be possible to you know like resign from vmware in such a way mm-hmm. and then they gave me another option they gave me a full time offer for a different role and they told that based on my performance they'll be shifting me to the role i want so that is uh, when and then uh, all the interview rounds were, went very smoothly all the interviewers were actually very friendly they used to you know like all the interview process was very nice the interview was you know like uh, coordinated by uh, arun who was the main lead there so it was all very nice okay and how were the difficulty level for the questions that you had and okay, also so, how many rounds of rounds of interview did you have uh i had multiple rounds of interview about five rounds i would say uh, four to five rounds of interviews uh, and everything was you no know, like uh, if you say if you think that the cto round or the last round would be not be technical everything was technical uh, each and every round was technical made from the very first round to the very last round mm-hmm. and the difficulty level i would say was uh, medium like if you if you do a lot of competitive programming or if you do yeah. programming uh, um, to a good level and if you are good with your dsa and skills uh-huh. uh, then you're going to uh, be able to do that um, problems which will be given to you also yeah. there is not just uh, programming that is going to help you to make at motorc you'll mm-hmm. have to be very good at your computer science fundamentals as well because that is also something which they actually look for and um, they actually ask a mul- lot of questions on computer science fundamentals as well plus they also ask you on system design so that is also something which you'll have to uh, brush up a bit very so nice that was the interview starts and that's nice and how long has this duration taken you like from receiving the first call to the offer letter was it a process of one month or a week or few days 
I would say it was not a few days for sure. It was some weeks to a month. That's nice. That's nice. So coming to you said the CS fundamentals were very important uh, that helped you in this interview and also to many other interviews that take place these days. Okay. So how has been your preparation uh, with the Renai Um Were you able to enhance your problem solving skills with us? Uh, yeah, so actually this platform programming partial and Renaissance actually helped me a lot uh, when I was in my college. So at that time, I, I used to do coding. I used to do hackering, code forces and stuff. And mm-hmm. that is a time when my college, uh, you know, like gave us some different uh, type of training wherein which uh, this training was given by Bharat Bhaiya to me. Mm-hmm. It was a, a 10 days training program wherein which they told us a bit of problem solving skills. Mm-hmm. And that is when I uh, realized that this is something which was lacking with me. I was doing coding, I was doing programming, but I was not sure about the pathway to follow i was just randomly looking for array videos here and there problems here and there Mm -hmm. i didn't have a a full-fledged uh you know pathway to which i would follow structure in the preparations probably correct and Mm -hmm. that is the reason i was solving all the easy problems at times and you know i was very happy that i'm solving as soon as i used to jump to medium problems i used to face some difficulty and you know like i was not having any guide so that is when uh, renaissance and programming patcher came into picture they actually gave me a structured view of everything and the major problem which i was facing at that point of time was i used to solve i used to give the uh, logic but i was not able to optimize problems that is something which was uh, which is majorly required and interviews they ask you to optimize it so that is what i learned there are many optimization techniques which i learned from programming Parchala's uh, course which i got so it actually helped me a lot nice that's nice that's nice to hear and abhishika how did you get to know about programming Parchala in the first place Uh, Yeah, as I told you, it was a 10 days training, first of all, from my college side. Uh, Then uh, Bharat Bhaiya came, who taught me, and then I used to talk to him. Then Mm -hmm. he told me that there is a person called Anub Bhaiya, whom you know, like you can talk to and get the stuff done. So I came in touch with Anub Bhaiya, and then I got this course. And this actually helped me in my preparations a lot. Since since how long have you been uh, our student at Renaissance? I've been there for more than eight to nine months. Okay, it's going to be almost a year in some way. Yeah. Now, have you completed the course? Have you finished all the modules? Uh, I would say the course is uh, too big. So even if you do not complete it entirely, that's fine. Uh, mm-hmm. If you do the basics of it and, you know, like the starting portion, starting modules, that enough, I would say uh, you should just, uh, you'll be get, able to get that skills, how to optimize. There are different techniques which you would be able to learn. So yeah. I, I am actually did not do the entire thing, but mm-hmm. I uh, did a gist of computer science fundamentals, the base, the important topics from the DSA and also that is something which helped me. That's great. That's great. Okay. And Abhishika, uh, one of the major questions that I would like to ask you is uh, a motivation factor. So many students who come here at Programming Parshala and many who are preparing even out there start to feel demotivated at some point in this journey of them preparing, learning how to code and solving problems, DSA, et cetera, et cetera. So was there a, uh, was there a point in your uh, preparation where you felt demotivated? Even if not, if someone does, uh, how would you say we can cope up with demotivation and be motivated to go through it uh that's that's pretty normal i too faced it so when we solve some problems sometimes you're able to solve it sometimes you're not able to do it so that that's fine if you are not able to do it we we naturally get demotivated so that happened with me as well but um there was like every time i had any issue i used to like i had a person like whom i used to just message and ask my problems and he used to resolve it at once also there used to be live sessions wherein which you know uh, yeah. We used to interact and we used to like solve problems together. We used to ask yeah. our doubts there. So yeah. if you are facing some issues and if you have a person whom you can ask at any point of time, so that is what actually helps. So mm-hmm. that helped me. And also at one point of time uh, when I was doing the course, so it it actually happened that I felt like the course is too big. I'm not going to finish it. And, you know, like there are multiple videos which I have to go through and watch. So I actually felt like, like I have to just stop. I actually uh, took a break for some weeks and then um, Anubhaya had a session which I attended. So that was a normal session. So that is when he asked students like uh, who all are continuously doing it. And also there was a continuous motivation from uh, his side as well. Mm -hmm. And also um, uh, there was a thing that I had a dream to like, I knew that if I want to crack some big company, I have to do it at any cost. So that was one thing and as whenever i used to get demotivated i used to contact them or you know like get some guidance like this is something which happening with me so mm-hmm. and then they used to guide me that's amazing that's amazing i believe that when you know you're meant for something and you have to just keep practicing through it 
and that's what makes the whole difference like you have to go and back of it you cannot just step back correct and correct, correct. correct. Come on that wasn't the option for me like i actually uh, took a break for some time and i used i analyzed like where i was going wrong and you know if anybody feels it they can also you know like first of all step back a bit and think like why they're not able to do it get guidance from somebody whom they feel uh, would help them had uh, done something you know like uh, whom they feel they would be uh, <laughs> helpful they yeah. could guide them so yeah. that that helps true that true that and here even i would like to mention one thing breaks sometimes are very important you cannot just keep on preparing and preparing and you know exactly. get tired by it sometimes you need a break you need to sit back relax and think for yourself that you know what you are lacking as of now and what your stronger points are and then get back up so sure yeah good that you took a break and you came back stronger and right now you have a package you have a company which is i guess it's a dream to so many and it's an, it will be an inspiration to so many of them watching right now Uh, take care, Vishika. It has been amazing. It has been lovely having a word with you. Thank you for being here. But before you leave, any piece of advice for our budding software development engineers? Uh, yeah. So I actually got a lot of messages uh, wherein which I was being asked, you know, like, did you please guide us? How did you get this offer? So to everybody out there, I would just say that uh, just keep. keep trying it there will be many point of time where you'll feel that um, you should you should just leave it or you would feel that you are not meant for it or you'll feel like oh, this is something which you can't do but that that's not happening everybody feels it it's not just you everybody mm-hmm. gets it even i uh, i got many such thoughts when i was doing it but yeah. you'll have to continue doing it you have to just chase your dream you have to just see the final aim you have to just see that you have to crack that offer just keep doing it take yeah. a bit of break if you are extremely exhausted Definitely. and and just get back that's all i would give definitely thank you so much for being here abhishek i wish you all the best as you join modrk very soon and i will see you very soon and until then take care thank you thank you so i hope you all enjoyed the video in case you did don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel and you can also hit the bell icon to get notified every time we put up a new video on our channel and i'll see you in the next video